The topic of this video is deriving a formula for the slope and y-intercept of a line in standard form. All right. Standard form of a line is ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are real, and a and b are not zero at the same time. We're going to rearrange this equation to put it in slope-intercept form to derive two formulas for the slope and the y-intercept of a line that was given to us in standard form. We know that slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange this equation and solve this for y. So the first step would be to pick up this term and move it to the other side. When a term changes sides, it changes signs. So we get by equals negative ax plus c. The next step would be to divide both sides of the equation by b. When we say both sides, we really mean both sides, the whole left side and the whole right side. So on the left, the b's cancel, and I have y equals. On the right, I'm going to get two fractions, one for the negative ax term and one for the c term. So I'll have negative ax over b plus c over b. Now, one property of fractions allows me to take a factor in the numerator of a fraction and move it outside the fraction to the right. And when I do, this gives me y equals negative a over b x plus c over b. This is slope-intercept form for the line. The slope m is the fraction negative a over b. And the y-intercept, which we usually associate the lowercase b, is equal to capital C over b. These two formulas will help save us a lot of time when solving problems involving tilted or slanted lines, especially when we're trying to write the equations of those lines.